All right. Hi, everybody. I'm Rami. Welcome to this mini series of creating a Luma key with OpenCV. I'm going to grab these kind of images that have a good contrast between the background and the item and have a bright background and a little bit of a dark item. I'm going to use Luma key to sort of crop this item from the image and do whatever we want with it. All right, so let's start. Uh, first of all, uh, we have here our imports. You're going to use OpenCV, NumPy, Matplot for plotting, up and Plotly for plotting 3D uh, 3D object that we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to use HCV to do this crop. And what is HCV? So HCV is an image format similar to RGB, but this time it's mapped in three dimensions. That is hue, saturation, and value. This value also is called brightness. We're going to use this last channel to create this mask that we want. So let's plot the original image here. We have uh, the image of this shoe. Nothing more to comment about this cell. Here we have uh, the first, the, the image that we convert from BGR to HCB because uh, OpenCV loads Im images in blue, green, and red. Now let's illustrate the different parts of the HCV format. Starting with, with the hue. The hue is the color channel, so to speak, and it sometimes is compressed. That's why we see it like a little bit chunks here because uh, we perceive more saturation and light that we perceive color. Then we have the saturation channel. The saturation channel has a little bit more resolution and. And yeah, not much to say about the saturation. As you can see here, uh, the laces of the shoe has a little more saturation because it's red. Um, yeah, now the one that we want to see really is the light channel. And I plotted with the gray color map so we can have a better understanding of what is bright and what is a little bit to the darker side. And we're going to use this channel to make the crop. So what's the idea? of making the crop with the light channel. Basically, we are creating something that is called a Luma key uh, that is from a range of light values, we crop where uh, selecting what's the darkest part of the image and what's the brightest part of the image and separating the the both of them and grabbing one of the two. Uh, to illustrate a little bit more this, let's plot uh, the light channel in a 3D plot with the height being the value of uh, the, the light. Here we're creating a mesh. Um, I'm not really that experienced about creating uh, 3D plots. I searched this and it works really well. So we're creating here, uh, this one is uh, a mesh and this one is our light channel inverted because we, we were going to see it reversed and it doesn't look good. So let's see how this looks. My machine is going to blow up, but okay. So as you can see here, we have our shoe in a 3D plot of the light channel. And what we want is select a plane or a value in this uh, light dimension to cut here and and only keep the, the the value of the shoe the background we don't need the background okay so uh, let's let's close this cell because all right so let's see the code play I'm going to use the mean of the light channel as the value of the crop you can also use the standard deviation to sort of fine tune that value let's let's see that here we're going to illustrate this plane i mean here we're going to illustrate the value that we choose to crop the light okay so here we are illustrating this value uh, as a plane in our 3d plot let's zoom in a little bit so well, as you can see here we are going to choose all these values that are above the the plane line we're going to create this uh, luma key Okay, let's let's see how to do that with OpenCV. And here we have this. First, we have the values. This uh, is the light. This is the light channel. We calculate the mean of that entire channel. We calculate the standard deviation. This is sort of a heuristic value to choose from. Um, in my experience, this works well. And in the second part of the this mini series, you're going to see how to create a pipeline to process like a data set of images and we're going to see that this uh, works really well if the image is in the right condition meaning it 
has the a nice bright background and a good contrast between the item and background. Either way, we have here the mean of the channel and the standard deviation. So the crop that we're going to do is from zero, meaning black, and the mean of the entire channel. Here we can fine tune this value with the standard deviation. In my experience, uh, we need to divide this by two because if we use the entire uh, standard deviation, the, the thing goes off the chart and we get all white. And yeah, so we're going to use the uh, in range function here that is basically between this range is going to grab the values channel and it's going to say okay zero when it's not in the range and one is when it's in the range and we basically it's going to create the mask but this uh, um, mask is uh, one one channel mask and we need a 3d channel mask for uh, something that we're going to do later that is um morphology okay so let's see the result here and we have here the original mask with only the standard only the the mean is pretty good already but we can fine tune with the standard deviation and have a, a better one but as you can see it has a little bit spot here it doesn't cover all the shoe so we're going to use morphology to close this mask in particular we're going to use the closing as we have little spots inside our mask and as you can see here that's why we need a 3d uh channel mask because the morphology needs it so we so we execute the morphology uh, method on the mask and with the morph close and we choose a uh, ellipse for our kernel. In this case, we're going to choose a large size kernel. I don't. I'm not quite sure. Uh, what this affects, but sometimes uh, if you choose a smaller one, uh, bigger holes um, don't get close. So this is exactly the same code as here. We are plotting uh, the thing. We are making the range, and let's see the result. Okay, as you can see, the result is more close, and uh, the the holes inside the mask are gone. Sometimes in spots like here, the sharpness goes away. This is rounded. I think this is because we are choosing a bigger kernel. If you use, for example, a 3 by 3 kernel, uh, we we have here, for example, this sharp, but we have holes inside. So it, it is a trade-off between having this, these features and the holes inside. One thing to note here is be careful choosing even numbers here because uh, the mask sometimes gets a little bit weird. In my experience, uh, choosing an even number uh, sometimes gets weird results. So we're going to leave it at seven. That's a nice mask. And now we're going to, what we're going to do is basically use bitwise and to use this mask to crop the original image. Uh, let's see it in action. So basically here we are giving the BGR image, the original one. If you wonder what this is, here we are, um, we are flipping the the, the color channel. So we have RGB and not BGR. And basically this is what it's doing. Uh, understanding a little bit more this, here we are, we are selecting all the, the length channel and this is the white channel i think and the last one is the color channel the this yeah the, the color channels that we are reversing last thing uh, this function needs a one dimensional mask so we are doing the same here but we are selecting one of the uh, three uh, identical masks uh, for example to illustrate this uh, let's plot it without reversing and as you can see it looks not right <laughs> for completion let's see how to reverse this mask if you if you want Arno to instead of cropping the the item you want to remove the item of the image and as you see with the function bitwise not we reverse this mask okay that's it uh, doing a Luma key in OpenCV. And next video is going to be this small pipeline that we talked about that we are going to use. Maybe you're going to use multiprocessing for processing this image uh, faster and uh, creating a data set with this. Maybe we, we create, uh, let's say, a thousand of these images. And, and also we can see the performance of the, the thing here. So hope you enjoyed. Give it a like if you did and subscribe for more. Goodbye.